Good morning. You're watching us here on Chartbusters. What a stellar recovery it has been for the market. We got a dip in the morning after a stellar rally on Tuesday. And now bulls have lashed onto that. A near 200-point recovery for the Nifty Bank. Nifty and led by the Nifty Bank, which has now moved to the high point of trade after recovering 800 points from the lows. First up, all the top stories that we're tracking on this edition of Chartbusters. It was a lower start for the Indian markets as global equities sold off, but now we're seeing a big recovery from the lows. IT still remains to be the top sectoral loser, but gains have been led by the auto pack, PSU banks, as well as mid caps, which have now moved into the green. Z Entertainment signs a licensing deal with Star for ICC men's cricket events, but CCI's concern over merger with Sony put a dampener on the stock, even as Z clarifies that they remain in touch with the CCI. Escorts hits a fresh 52-week high after strong sales for the month of August. The company remains bullish, says sales are likely to improve in September further. Bajaj Auto's August sales too beat estimates. The management tells CNBC TV18 that the sales should again remain strong in the festive season. SpiceJet reports their fourth quarter numbers and a loss of almost 500 crore rupees. And FY22 losses have come in at around 1,700 crores as higher fuel prices hit their bottom line. The company also announces that its CFO Sanjeev Taneja has resigned from his post. The stock tanks 6%. The government hikes windfall gains tax on crude to 13,300 rupees a tonne versus 13,000 a tonne earlier and as a result of which ONGC is down 2.5%. Well, let's take a no uh, take note of the way the markets have moved, and there's only one uh, chart that denotes the kind of recovery that see that we've seen, and that is the crisscross lines. When we started, we had nearly four stocks in the red, for one in the green, and now those lines have crisscrossed, and we have the green line much above the red one. We have two stocks which are now uh, higher as compared to just one, uh, which is declining. So the line, the distance between both the green and the red lines is widening as we speak. Uh, from the broader markets, we are seeing a big rally in a couple of these names. Uh, the mid-cap index up around a quarter of a percent and at the high point is PD Light, which is up two and a half percent. Cummins is the other one, which is three percent higher and Page Industries has recovered from the lows. Good time to get in Aditya Agarwala for a quick technical check on the market. Aditya, we got a dip. The bulls took that bait. We've crossed past the 20-day moving average, which was proving to be a bit of a resistance. Where do we go from now? That's the big question because the second half, we will have uh, the weekly options expiry too. Uh, good morning, Manglam, and thanks for having the show. Uh, so clearly, our markets uh, are on a different, uh, uh, I would say, uh, leave altogether at the moment. Uh, on steroids, uh, global markets are correcting while we are uh, just um, marching ahead. Uh, for the day, maybe because, uh, as you mentioned, it's it's weekly expiry. Uh, 17,730 is something I'll closely watch out for on the spot level. If uh, these levels are taken out anytime uh, during the day, then my sense is uh, we could be in for a good short covering rally again. Uh, we've already witnessed a good uh, 150, 170 point short covering rally from the bottoms. Uh, but yes, uh, for now, 17,730 is something which uh, bulls uh, should watch out for. If that is taken out, uh, next level would be 17,850 to about 17,900 as well. Uh, clearly, there's a lot of uh, buying activity that we're seeing in the mid cap uh, space and the small cap space. Broader markets are uh, buzzing around. And uh, as you mentioned, banks uh, too are uh, doing well for themselves. So Bank Nifty, if it manages to cross uh, 39,750 on the upside, uh, then there's a good case uh, for Bank Nifty to test levels of 41,000 to about 42,000 as well. Uh, these levels will take some time uh, to come, uh, but uh, looking at the chart setup of the Bank Nifty looks like uh, Bank Nifty should continue to outperform from year on. And the PSU space is something which is doing really well, uh, helping the Bank Nifty uh, pull up, and that will likely to continue in the coming trading sessions. All right, take that point. Individual stocks, what do you have on your list, Aditya? I've got a couple of buy recommendations, Manglam. Auto space, is, that is something which has been doing uh, phenomenally well. The entire month of August has been uh, phenomenal for the autos. Uh, uh, still looks uh, very attractive. Maruti is something which is just starting to break out uh, from that uh, major downward sloping channel, uh, which uh, was acting as a major hurdle for the stock. Now it has successfully managed to break out in trade today. Uh, so on the upside, uh, uh, 9,500 would be the targets. Uh, traders should definitely look at getting into Maruti at these levels also. Look for a stop loss on the downside at 9150 to about 9100. The second stock recommendation is Tata Consumer. Again, this is one stock which entered into a narrow consolidation phase after a big correction, and now it's breaking out of that consolidation phase on very good volumes. Uh, so one can go ahead buy at these levels. Look for a target of 870 on the upside with a stop loss at 810 on the downside. 
All right, as we speak, we do have a bunch of other stocks which are uh, making the highs of trade as well. GIC from the cash market, 